Hello everyone, um, we are halfway through E3, very exciting, there's been a bunch of VR announcements that we thought we'd update you about. Yeah, so there is still PC and Sony to come tonight, which may have stuff, so we might be back yeah. tomorrow to update you, it really depends on I'd, I'd what hope happens. so. Yeah, fingers crossed. But first things first, Bethesda has announced a standalone VR title for the Wolfenstein series, and this is called Wolfenstein Cyber Pilot. In the game, you're going to be playing as a hacker who is attempting to disrupt the Nazi forces in Paris. And you're going to be doing this by hacking into all the big mechs and robots from the Wolfenstein series. That sounds really cool. It sounds like that's a perfect thing for VR. You can, you kind of sat down yeah. doing that with your hands Have your physical stuff. controls yeah. in front of you. Um, I find that games like Elite Dangerous work really well because you are sat down and you're rooted in a position. Movement's always the thing that's a bit iffy in VR. Mm. But in a big mech robot suit, that could be great. <laughs> And you can do stuff you can't do in real life, like be a giant Nazi dog. Wait. <laughs> I don't want to be a giant Nazi dog. <laughs> Just to clarify. There was Nazi dogs in Green Room. Yeah. You seen Green Room? I have. It's a very Patrick good Stewart plays a Nazi, he has Nazi dogs. Anyway, the game is set for release in 2019, <laughs> and so far it's only been confirmed for the HTC Vive. But Bethesda are pretty good. Yeah. I, I can see it coming to I'm, PSVR, Oculus. I'm assuming so. Yeah. We'll, we'll see next year, I suppose. Yeah. Um, Bethesda were also announcing uh, new VR modes for Prey, including the game's brand new competitive multiplayer mode, Typhon Hunter, uh, which sees one player against five others who get to play as mimics and can disguise themselves just as they can in the uh, normal game enemies. Yeah, I'm kind of... Um... I'm a bit scared oh, yeah. by this. I'm very scared by because this. Because if you've played the opening of Prey, it's really scary when the mimics are hiding as mugs or pencils, I don't know. But now it can just be anyone. But now it could be anyone. It could be Rebecca, who is that mug. <laughs> or you just call me a mug. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> anyway. This is going to be so intense, yeah. I think, in VR. And I think th th there's always scary games in VR, but I think this is just really going to be... What this could be is this could be VR... Jump scare Jump simulator scares. with your friends. <laughs> Which, Which I, sounds great. I feel like we need to get everyone in the office playing this. This could be so much fun. Yeah. So they've also announced, <laughs> going back to it, they've also yeah. announced some single player challenges uh, coming soon to the game, which will likewise allow players to explore the Talos station in virtual reality. Yeah, exciting stuff. Nice to see Bethesda supporting Prey, which had a yep. mixed response at launch, but it's good that they're pushing it a yeah. bit more. Bethesda has announced a new free-to-play Elder Scrolls game, which is described as a uniquely mobile experience. Now you may be wondering, yeah. why, why are we talking about mobile? This is mobile news, this is <laughs> VR news. Well, despite that previous statement, Bethesda is going to try and bring this game to as many platforms as possible. They've said PC, mobile, consoles, and VR. Mm, so that, that could just mean sort of your Samsung gear, mobile, mm. ports and stuff, but we're hopeful. Hopefully it could come to Oculus Survive and Although it is a mobile game and the graphics aren't amazing, I don't think that matters too much. Bethesda graphics are a bit naff anyway. They are. No, they are. <laughs> they are. Fallout looks rubbish. I'm sorry. Oh, no. It plays well, but it looks rubbish. <laughs> anyway, I could see it coming to Vive or Oculus easily. Um, they have a history of porting mobile games. Fallout Shelter's just coming to PlayStation. Yeah. So there's that track record there for Bethesda. Okay, so everyone's favourite rhythm action VR game, Beat Saber, has officially been announced for the PSVR. Oh. We don't have a release date or even month yet, but they've given us the near future. Near future, that's the, it's coming, just stop nagging us, that's yes. what they're saying. We, we promise. So I'm worried how this will work because, again, about the room tracking, so yes. PSVR doesn't have that. Big part of Beat Saber is dodging left and yeah, right to dodge the laser away. walls and ducking. Don't know how that's going to work. No. I also have concerns yeah. because my favourite part of Beat Saber is the custom songs, throwing in like, you know, pop hits, um, 80s power ballads. That's kind of fun and I feel like it's a big part of Beat Saber. That's probably not coming to PlayStation. It's kind of a PC thing modding like that. Yeah, they might prove you wrong. They might. There has been a history of like Bethesda games actually going back to Bethesda. <laughs> They've had a few console mod stuff, but nonetheless, it's a big popular VR title that more people can now play. Yeah. That's, that's always a good thing. Um, so also, we've got Ghost Giant for the PSVR. Um, it's from the makers of 3D platformer Faye. Faye? 
Effie. Effie. Yeah, it seems to be a mix of the kind of not exclusively being in first person, kind of expanding on that moth concept, which we've mentioned a few times in yeah, these so videos. Yeah, it's your big first person thingy messing with little 3D animals. Yeah, so you, like... <laughs> Third it's, person animals. Yeah, it looks like a little cat that you meet, and he's called Louie, and it looks like from the trailer that you kind of set about helping him in like puzzling. And yeah. There was like some farming there as well. <laughs> I really like the look at this game. Visually, it looks kind of like Tearaway. Um, very cool graphics. And it looks fun as well. I liked the um, reactions, like yeah. that the animals were freaked out that you're a giant <laughs> ghost. I think more... Instead of just assuming like, oh, this is totally oh, normal. Oh, that's VR player. <laughs> Never mind. I think more games need to acknowledge that VR is ridiculous. Yes. It's such a weird thing <laughs> and they need to be like a what? bit more self-aware. Yeah. So it kind of, I also felt like it was like a little bit like a doll's house. You could kind mm. of spin the little houses around and it was like you could change the channels and it, it kind really of looked cool. like you can get really... It was like a storybook almost, wasn't yeah. it? You know, like a pop-up. And thing. that's the thing, it's uh, it's written by a lady called Sarah Bergman Elfgren. I'm not sure if I've pronounced her name right, but she's been involved in screenplays, graphic novels, um, and she's got her own novels as well. So it's got a really talented person behind the story. So yeah. that's going to be really exciting, I think. So there is no release date hinted yet, but I think that's what um, my most excited E3 announcement so far. so far. And it was prior to E3, technically, wasn't it? Um, it was in like Sony's, they've been doing live streams yeah. where they announce a VR game every day, um, building up to their conference, which is happening tonight. It's exciting. Um, yeah, so like I said, tonight we'll hopefully be getting some updates from the PC gaming show, from PlayStation, Ubisoft as well, also have their show. They've done a few VR things. Yeah. Um, if there's any big stuff, we will update you tomorrow, but we're quite excited to find out. Thank you so much for watching. Please do like, comment, subscribe for more VR news, reviews, videos, that kind of stuff. Uh, let us know what your E3 predictions are for mm. tonight. I'm personally hoping for Alien Isolation 2. Mm. I'd, I'd love that, that would be great. Do you have any predictions, Bex? I know I've just thrown just this at you. not on the spot. No, I don't think so. Not, no? not, not on the spot, Jamie. Gosh. More lovely VR Yeah, more, more cute games. I don't <laughs> think that's going to happen. Moss 2. Yes. You want some Moss DLC? I do DLC. want Moss 2. I want Moss Storybook 2, but I don't think that's going to happen. Okay. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.